Make sure the system is stone cold and that it is not under pressure. Then remove the coolant fill cap indicated by the red arrow. Go through the series of adapters in your kit and screw on the proper pressure cap, blue arrow. It is imperative that the cap is a correct fit. If the cap leaks air, the test will not work. Attach the hose and pump to the cap and pressurize the system to 1.8 bar absolute. The system should hold pressure. If the pressure drops, then you have a leak somewhere. This is also another reason why the cap must be an exact fit. Do not forget to release the pressure at the pressure release valve, blue arrow, before disconnecting the hose or unscrewing the cap. If a leak is confirmed, please see our articles and videos on coolant hose replacement and coolant flush and fill for additional assistance by following the link provided at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.